Hi everyone, I am Jyoti Singh and you are watching the Fluent Spoken English program with me. Today is date 25th April 2020 and here we are with the latest 5 vocabularies from the Hindu editorial. So let's begin. The first word is Behemoth spelled as B-E-H-E-M-O-T-H Behemoth. It means something which is very enormous or very large maybe a very powerful organization right for anything which is very giant we use the word behemoth it also means very powerful powerful either in the or in the structure or in the position or in the power clear the synonyms used are gigantic juggernaut whopper okay antonyms are weakling weakling with the word weak you can uh, relate to it midget or diminutive Example, shoppers are now more loyal to local shops than to the faceless behemoth. Here we are talking about the big brands, the big uh, retail chains, right? Like pantaloons or the big uh, shopping complexes, right? So here we are saying that the shoppers, uh, the people who do a lot of shopping or who are regular shoppers, they, they are more loyal to the local shop keepers or the local vendors now instead of the faceless behemoth clear let's move towards the next innate i double n a t e innate innate means which is inborn which is within you since the birth right which is belonging to the essential nature of something clear the synonyms are indigenous ingrained or congenital that is which is within you since the beginning you're born with such qualities we at times we say innate quality innate immunity so it means born with such qualities antonyms are foreign acquired or external that is external not internal example watching the sky at night is an is as innate to human behavior as cooking and telling a story so here it means that you know cooking and telling a story to someone or you know uh, relating to that is our this quality is in us within uh, i mean this quality is within us since since our birth right since very uh, you know childhood uh, time and you never uh, i mean uh, mostly anybody if you're talking to if you will ask anyone they will tell you that somewhere or the other they might have seen the sky at night they might have uh, you know uh, stared at the at the at the sky at night right so that is something which is innate in our nature right so watching the sky at night is as innate to human behavior as cooking and telling a story clear so something which is inborn which is within us since uh, the inception trickle t-r-i-c-k-l-e pronounced as trickle it means to fall or let fall in or as if in drops it means to fall in drops drop by drop right synonyms are dribble drizzle cascade drizzling uh, when it's raining i mean uh, when few drops are coming down in the form of rain we say drizzling we don't we not we do not say it's raining we say it's drizzling when it's very light shower we say it's drizzling okay cascade again one after the other right so these are the synonyms antonyms are gush stream or sport it means flow at once with very uh, you know with a lot of pressure right we say gush of water stream of water sport of water for example i asked my friend to trickle a little honey into my banana shake so here i'm talking about dropping uh, some honey into my banana shake so i'm using the word trickle i asked my friend to trickle a little honey into my banana shake clear very important word and very new word also popularization p a u p E R I S A T I O N, pauperization. It means an extreme poverty, and a state of extreme poverty, or to make someone very, uh, you know, uh, very poor. Synonyms are impoverishment, privation, starvation. See, privation. It is a, uh, it is an act 
wherein you make someone very wherein you deprive someone of food or water or some essential sources resources okay starvation is to keep to uh, again to not to give someone food so that he starves antonyms are wealth or wealthy well nourished or abundance in abundance right for example to solve the popularization of peasants giant private sector leaders should also work along with government so here we are talking about the farmers that they are so uh, so much into poverty that now is the time that these private sector leaders like tata ambani's they should come along with the government and they should come up with certain kind of rules and regulations and policies wherein we can uplift the fa the families of these farmers right let's move towards the last word and very important word jingoism j i n g o i s m jingoism right it means extreme patriotism see having i mean showing having a sense of patriotism towards a nation is good but having extreme patriotism wherein it could be very aggressive or war, war like situation right it's not good right so jingoism means extreme patriotism especially in the form of aggressive or war like situation the synonyms are chauvinism nationalism or super patriotism chauvinism means to show excessive favorism towards one gender right jingoism uh, there is a story behind jingoism uh, in in the i mean late 19th century there was a war going between uh, russia and turkey i believe and if i'm if i'm not wrong so uh, to up to motivate uh, their uh, you know army they used to uh, sing a jingle wherein it uh, and people who were who got very much influenced by the attitude of you know that jingle they were called as jingoist and this and to have this attitude is jingoism so from there this word came that to have extreme super pet to show super patriotism is jingoism the antonyms are unbiased anti nationalism or treachery for example the pseudo national spirit of jingoism is very dangerous the false national spirit of jingoism that you are not patriotic you are too much you are showing excessive exaggerated patriotism towards a country is not that very good clear so these were the five latest vocabularies from the hindi editorial stay tuned for the next five vocabularies tomorrow is sunday so i would be sharing root word uh, the root word hyper right so we will see how many words we can make by the use of word hyper uh if you like this video then do subscribe like comment and share and stay tuned